What up, dog? It's TSG Deuce, and it's my type five. Have you ever thought about someone else while you were having sex with your partner? A thousand, a million times, as a matter of fact. Bitches just don't be heat enough, and I be having to get this net out. Bitches be terrible. What's the weirdest thing you wanted to be when you grew up? I ain't gonna lie. I used to, like, I grew up watching SmackDown and shit like that on UPN. Y'all too young for that. Y'all don't know nothing about UPN. I, I used to want to be a wrestler, so I could jump off the top rope like Rey Mysterio and shit like that. I ain't never wanted to be nothing like Rakishi. That, that shit was weird, but shout out Rakish. Have you ever given or received head while on the road? I have, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Bitches gotta chill out when giving head while I'm on the road. You feel me? Like, I don't got time to, like, make corrections and shit like that while I'm speeding. Because you know I'm a speed. You feel me? Like, as soon as your head go down, my foot go down. And now we speeding. What is one law or rule that you think is ridiculous and why this new little texting and driving rule is ridiculous because to be honest y'all really been had that like y'all had that that not being on your phone and driving in the first place what did my grandma call me and it was it was really like i need to be there asap i need to be there what's something that you absolutely hate during sex oh i got a list for this okay so listen this is what i don't like when y'all bitches be like using your teeth when y'all be giving head <laughs> like sharpening pencils this motherfucker sensitive like and then i don't like that extra sucking the balls extra hard and shit like that like those are sensitive that makes my stomach hurt i don't like that you feel me like all that fondling my balls and shit i don't like when bitches get on top and do the little grinding move and shit like that it's not too much up and down it's too much grinding you feel me like all that rocking your hips back and forth on my shit you about to break my shit have you ever shot your shot and been turned down what happened i had this crush on this girl she had about like forty thousand followers on instagram i could not get through to her dm so i had two home girls the first home girl told me like man shit you better catch her while you when you catch her i can't shoot the message for you but my other home girl she put the motherfucking message in for me i had to wait all the way into my home girl party to see this girl i got the chance to pull her to the side we was playing uno and everything like we was playing uno now this the thing they ain't had no speaker in that bitch it was a boring ass party i came up with the idea of doing the uno you feel me because i'm a lit nigga like that i'm like everybody pull out your phones you about to play uno you feel me woo -woo. i bing bang bomb get up out of there you feel me then she next to fire that's how i knew she was for me pull her to the side finally get the hollering at her and shit like that i'm like damn you feel me? Like, I've been trying to get on you for a minute. She was like, yeah, like, you know, my DMs packed and shit like that. I'm like, yeah, but I'm here right now. I was like, what's up? Can I get a chance to get to know you or whatever? She was like, yeah. Long story short, her cousin came in, cock blocked me, fucked up the whole motion. I'm talking about, talking about, yeah, I want to go home, da 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 she just took my whole bitch away from me. And then every since then, I tried to talk to her. She ain't respond back. What is the brokest thing you have ever seen someone do? I, I used to hang with a dude. I'm not going to specify his name. Trifle nigga used to walk in and put his lips around niggas' bottles and eat off niggas' fork. He came in, you feel me, like, oh, this your shit? and put his lips where you put your lips at like specifically he'll put his lips right there where you put your lips at too i don't know how niggas know exactly where you put your lips at whatever you feel me and like i said he'll grab his fork eat your food and then lick over the fork like you don't know if niggas got herbs and you should watch out for that guy if you know guys doing trace like this Call the police ASAP. What's the funniest thing that ever happened to you during sex? You know when you catch that little cramp in your leg and you like, all right, fuck it, I ain't no hoe. I'm gonna fuck it out. Like, bow, bow, bow. Bing, bong. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I caught a Charlie horse something so crazy and I fell off the bed and got to screaming like, ah. Uh. And I'm gonna be honest, it ain't fuck my stroke up, not damn bitch. You feel me? Like, I got right back to it like nothing ever happened. We had to switch positions. Make sure you drink water and eat your bananas. You need the potassium. If you could be the best in the world at doing something, what would it be? Performing, because I feel like I could be better at performance. You feel me? Like, it's niggas like um, Big Jungle, Snapdog, 
even motherfuckers in the industry like Travis Scott and things like that. Like, I feel like my stage presence could be way better. Like, I would jump in the crowd. I would jump in the crowd on a thousand bitches' heads and see if they could hold me up. I'm a big nigga, though, so I think they're going to have a hard time with that. What period of history would you change? I like when niggas could go to the mall back in the day, as a matter of fact. The malls be so dead now, like, I really would change the period before the mall start getting dead. And I would take phones away, too, like, because a lot of y'all motherfuckers got personality on Instagram and social media and everything else. And I feel like if you take phones away, motherfuckers will be back outside and you will see who people really are. A lot of these motherfuckers got personality on the ground. On Twitter. Exclusive. Exclusive. Exclusive.